We all hope for a fresh start to the new school year. Thousands of students will be hopping on Durham school buses next week. We've uncovered the bus company in charge of taking your kids to school safely face serious allegations for failing to protect them. Instead of paying the penalties, they're fighting them, and they'll be driving your kids to school in just a week. Here's what you should know in this 4 News Now exclusive. Failure to wear masks, not social distancing, and not providing PPE. A lack of enforcement risking the lives of both students and bus drivers. The state is slapping these citations on Durham School Services. Washington Labor and Industries investigated a timeline, which included an outbreak where Durham employees were quarantined, sickened with COVID, and even one dying earlier this year. Based on videos and witnesses, the Illinois-based company faces two violations. The state found employees were not masking up correctly or even at all on buses. And there are several times where Durham did not report results of work-related incidents within eight hours to the Division of Occupational Safety and Health. This includes deaths, hospitalizations, amputations, and even losses of an eye. While the report says some violations have been corrected or situations no longer exist, for everything discovered in this inspection, LNI only gave Durham School Services a $7,000 fine for that first violation, nothing for the second. But Durham isn't paying, at least not right now. The company has appealed and the process could take up to six months. In the meantime, the company is making changes. National Express LLC speaks on behalf of Durham. It says it has a new safety supervisor in place along with a new regional manager. It wouldn't comment on the pending appeals, but in a statement said, Since that time, we've made significant management changes. Our team is in place and we're looking forward to beginning the new school year on September 2nd. All of our drivers have been working tirelessly to ensure that operations go smoothly. Spokane Public Schools tells us it's entering its fourth year of a five-year contract with Durham, but it's taken its own steps when it comes to evaluating transportation options. To read the district's full statement and to see the violations yourself, you can read the full report on our website at kxly.com.